My lecture, uh, at the, you, you know, it's even better to call it uh, invitation to uh, discussion. Uh, I, I suggest to look at Vizimix from a little bit another point of view. Uh, The last time, or maybe not the last, I think the last uh, 20 years at least, uh, concept of inherent safety and safer design or technology uh, uh, became not even popular. It's a very strong direction in improvement on uh, safety features of the chemical uh, process and the industry. And uh, I'll just... Uh, remind you, according to Dennis Henderson, and uh, he is one of the uh, uh, leading experts in this field, he suggests, uh, uh, I'll just uh, use his words, chemical uh, manufacturing process could be described as inherently safer if it reduces or eliminates one or more hazards associated with the materials and operations used in the process when compared to some alternative process. And this reduction or elimination is accomplished by characteristics which are permanent and inseparable parts of the process. And uh, uh, second, that uh, process engineer, it's his duty to identify ways to eliminate the hazards associated with the process rather than to develop add-on barriers to protect people from these hazards using appropriate analytical and decision major tools to select the best overall process alternative. Uh, uh, this is uh, uh, the main concept of, of this lecture and uh, you know uh, enough to say this uh, words uh, I, I can finish this uh, <laughs> lecture but uh, <laughs> with your permission I'll continue uh, why it's so important for us all the time we declared that VisiMix is the tool for process engineers uh, uh, in this field, we are beginners. Yes, for us it's very important to know your opinion on this field. Uh, uh, once I particip participated in the Global Conference on Process Safety, and at least I felt the difference between uh, process engineers and safety experts. Uh, process engineers, uh, let's be maybe uh, too optimistic, they uh, have time to uh, investigate and uh, to think. Process engineer has no time for calculations. Usually, it's my opinion, maybe uh, I'm not too, too, uh, too right in this field, but uh, my, my discussion with them showed that they need a tool which uh, can give them immediately answer, is it good or not, huh? in such a way. So, uh, uh, I, uh, what, what is our motivation to be in this field? Well, first of all, steel reactors belong to the key type of equipment, yes? And uh, looking through the literature, we found that uh, statistic differs, but about of 14% of all accidents in chemical process industry caused by different uh, reasons, and 71% uh, of them are related to batch, semi-batch uh, reaction. Okay, but 14 it's a large number. Yes. Second. Second, this concept, uh, uh, at least it helped us uh, appearance of this con con uh, concept in motivation of uh, our activity in this field. Uh, 
uh, I, I just remind you. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, uh, what uh, it is said, Henderson, the designer must apply good judgment and appropriate analytical and decision making tools. And what do we have with VZMix? We have a set of software developed special, specially for process engineers. Uh, first of all, it's maybe its uh, main ad sorry, advantage that uh, uh, VZMix proved his reliabi uh, reliability and uh, because it provides an adequate and a complete description of process and the and equipment configuration based on reliable models verified in practice. Second, uh, it's not necessary to go to true. I, I just copies uh, part of uh, calculation menu in VisiMix. Uh, you can see uh, VisiMix gives you possibility to get main characteristics of the project. It uh, helps you to consider basic unit operation which takes uh, place in uh, mixing equipment. And uh, uh, third, uh, which I think it's also important, especially if you take into account that uh, safety expert differ a little bit from process engineers. Yes, that VZMix, first of all, its user interface is very user friendly. First, second, VZMix has built-in databases with properties. It's very important. It's not necessary uh, usually to go to the library and uh, find something detailed. And second, uh, its help system uh, uh, is a good uh, explanation tool for, for the user, which is not all the time working with the uh, process investigation. And the third time, uh, which uh, I think differ with the mix from all uh, or majority of calculation tools. VZMix is a calculation is a combination of a calculation tool with expert system. Expert system uh, follows you from the uh, uh, moment when you uh, start working and uh, till the end. It analyzes your input data, analyzes results of uh, your calculations, and every time when uh, uh, your parameters start to differ from the uh, normal parameters of the process, it sends you a message. And, uh, I prepared uh, this uh, list of messages, yes, which uh, um, uh, you get every time when you work with VZMix. And uh, 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 if you look uh, at this list, it first of all it covers main uh, parameters of the process and main unit operations. Uh, I think those of us who has uh, experience in uh, working with VZMix met with these uh, messages, yes. Just uh, 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 to think that uh, I think majority of accident incidents, uh, it's not immediate explosion, yes. It starts from small deviation from the normal course of the process. And from this point, uh, uh, such information as, uh, I don't know, mixing power is too high for your drive. Uh, or complete suspension is questionable. Uh, all this time, uh, uh, here you have even an advance, uh, advice that addition battles is advisable. All the time it's like red lamp, yes, uh, uh, you can uh, just uh, you must just draw your attention on this fact. 
and uh, uh, I continue this list and it's not necessary to go into details. What is interesting? The fact of combination, uh, reliable calculation tool with expert system. I think uh, this feature uh, is uh, very important in application business to the safety process. Uh, uh, and uh, I just uh, uh, told it that if we recall that any accident or incident uh, can uh, be caused by small deviation of the normal course of the process, uh, VZMIX message system enables to, to define ICD. Uh, ICD is inherent safer design or inherent safety technology. Range of steel triangles. Uh, we prepared uh, three examples. Uh, we, we selected these examples because, as we think, I, I repeat again, that we are beginners on, uh, in this field. And for us, it's very important to uh, get your opinion on, on this direction, which, as it looks, Maybe it, it has potential. Uh, uh, in uh, everyday activity, yes, uh, in, in direction of uh, safety, user of VCMix can meet uh, three possible situations. First of all, uh, on stage of design of a new process or uh, uh, reactor. Uh, <coughs> during operations, because during operations there are small deviations from initial parameters, yes, and uh, at the stage of investigation. So the first uh, example that uh, uh, we found it in, in, in the literature, uh, we have such tank and uh, it is used for process which consists of two stages, initial uh, heating, and uh, initial heating causes uh, runaway, uh, no, exothermal reaction, sorry. And uh, we must define this uh, uh, time of initial stage and uh, stop it, uh, changing heating stage to cooling stage. Um, but first of all, uh, the process uh, which we are going to consider, uh, it uh, uh, belongs to liquid-solid uh, operation. There is solid catalyst used in the process. And <coughs> the first task in our consideration was to define so-called just suspension speed. Yes, it's the minimum rotation velocity of the impeller at which there are no stagnant zones at the bottom. Uh, it is important, yes, because if uh, there is a stagnation and all the catalyst uh, will be at the bottom, uh, it's very even difficult uh, to, to suggest what can be something very bad, yes. The second stage is it's necessary to simulate a second order exothermal reaction in a stirred reactor. We took uh, kinetic reaction parameter from um, this book. So first, uh, we uh, enter all the data uh, uh, and we start selected in menu uh, liquid solid operation. Uh, if we look at the menu liquid solid operation, there is no uh, uh, question just suspension speed. But we can define it in such a way. We enter some uh, velocity and ask uh, uh, if there is complete or incomplete suspension in the reactor. If uh, program sends us this message, message, it means that uh, 
there is no suspension, yes? And this, it really happens. We got, if we use Vizimix, or complete suspension is questionable, or partial setting of solid faces may occur. Then we increase uh, uh, rotation speed, and we continue up this message that complete suspension is expected. Uh, in our case, it was 72 RPM. So we can increase uh, RPM, I don't know, up to 85, and be sure that from this point, we, uh, our process is safety. Uh, second uh, um, part, <coughs> if you remember our, from the uh, heat transfer point, our process consists of two stages, initial uh, heating and then uh, uh, cooling. So uh, our aim to define duration of which stage. Uh, uh, when we enter all the data, we got this message that after uh, 7.3 minutes, uh, uh, ten hour, yes, I forgot to tell that, uh, of course, we have uh, uh, restriction in our process. That I, if I uh, remember, it's 143 degrees of Celsius. So it uh, informs us that after 7.3 minutes, we have a runaway reaction. And, and uh, by the way, if instead of uh, steam we use another material, yes, uh, for example, Dow uh, term, program will uh, inform us at the very beginning that heat transfer agent does not correspond to process temperature range because uh, his boiling point is less. Uh, <coughs> 121. So, uh, after we got this message about runaway reaction, we uh, get these two curves. Uh, one of them means temperature and second concentration. So, if we select that the duration <coughs> of the uh, first stage is 40 uh, four and, the, and the half minutes from the start uh, and our temperature was uh, in the tank will be 35 degrees it's far from uh, the critical conditions and concentration <coughs> we can start analyze second stage second stage after we entered the previous data as initial from the cooling stage, we can get that after 5.3 uh, uh, that duration of the cooling stage is 5.3 minutes and the process is finished, yes, the concentration is zero. So we, such approach, uh, uh, this primary uh, example shows that, that we managed to design a process in our attack. And what is important, that we managed to define safety range of this uh, uh, process. And duration is about 10 minutes. Uh, maybe this example looks artificial, but we designed it to, to show uh, Vizimix uh, features, yes, possibilities, uh, at the stage of designing, yes. Now, let's go to uh, its uh, Vizimix application to uh, during uh, operation. Uh, this example was borrowed from this book. It's uh, propylene oxide plus uh, water uh, uh, converges in pro propylene glycol. We found it there. And uh, 
uh, there is temperature limitation 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, uh, what is the statement of this problem, which we decided to consider? That uh, we have, uh, we start our process uh, in a new reactor, but uh, over a prolonged period, uh, we got a fouling uh, layer in the tank, yes, and uh, in the pipes everywhere. And uh, uh, this uh, falling layer increases uh, thermal resistance, yes, between our uh, coolant and media. Uh, at the very beginning, uh, our control system is able to compensate, yes, uh, increase of thermal resistance leads to increase of temperature. But our control system is able to increase uh, flow rate in the pipe and it compensates, uh, so everything is okay. <coughs> but, uh, uh, yes, the time goes and uh, sickness of the lower increases and increases pressure head at the jacket, yes? And uh, there can be a moment when uh, uh, our control system uh, stops, uh, is not able to compensate temperature. So we decided to create uh, uh, such graph, we called it safety map, uh, I'm not sure that it's uh, suitable name, but the idea that we calculated relative coolant pressure uh, using Vizimix data <coughs> as a fun function of fouling thermal resistance. Just uh, using uh, Vizimix possibility, we increases fouling uh, and uh, for this value we start to increase uh, flow rate in order to keep uh, media temperature on the same level. Yes, it was. So we got such curve. Uh, <coughs> it shows that the relative coolant pressure had relative because uh, uh, real pressure had we divided by the initial value. It increases with a function of uh, falling thermal resistance. Uh, we know that uh, our maximum related pressure head is limited uh, by, for example, by this value, and gives it gives us the value of falling. We can uh, use this graph uh, to define moment when we must stop the process and start to clean uh, reactor or change it. Uh, maybe it looks a little bit artificial, but uh, uh, just it shows uh, uh, possibilities of this mix. And <coughs> the last <coughs> example, <coughs> it's a real case. We meet it that a huge uh, reactor, yes, uh, with volume more than 2,000 cubic meters. It is equipped with a massive uh, uh, impeller uh, uh, with mass about two ton. <coughs> it's used in crystallizer with. Uh, uh, how it's called uh, uh, dry, dry uh, draft tube. Yes, draft tube, sorry. Uh, uh, like at this picture. Uh, uh, it is important that uh, the existing value of Missy Mix, there is no possibility to consider 
to take into account this draft view. Uh, so uh, we decided to analyze uh, reasons of the accident and <coughs> oh, sorry what what is the accident it uh, starts every time shortly after uh, the drive motor starts to work or switched on and uh, 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 accident as uh, uh, operators know, notice the uh, vibration, strong vibration started and uh, <coughs> finally something was broken, draft tube or impeller or both of them or uh, 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 operator managed to switch off, but the uh, situation was very bad. So what we decided to analyze. Uh, VZMix has an option mechanical calculation of shaft. We entered the data and again in, in case of this <coughs> oscillation type Okay. Uh, type of the impeller does not uh, is not so important. So we selected any type uh, just to make it large enough. Now, in mechanical uh, calculation of the shaft, it's important to know mass mass of the impeller. And. Uh, uh, <coughs> when we entered data, Vizimix, <coughs> and we selected this option, yes, mechanical calculation of the shaft <coughs> and subvenue torsion shear or shaft vibration characteristic. We got this message, yes, and the result is critical frequency and uh, uh, is this and rotation fre frequency is this and you can see that rotation uh, ratio of rotation uh, frequency to critical is 30% uh, uh, more than uh, so uh, it can be we can consider that uh, this is okay yes 30% it's uh, uh, safety factor, yes, but not, uh, uh, or at least it's not so so important. And our impeller uh, is uh, has a huge uh, inertia, yes, and we when we switch it on, he starts uh, to move very slowly, and. Because his critical, his rotation frequency is more than critical value. <coughs> it reaches critical value and uh, during uh, time, I don't know, but it uh, operates uh, at critical conditions. So this is a problem and uh, recommendation was to change it. Uh, Vizimix gives such <coughs> possibility to fix the uh, shaft uh, at the bottom, yes? <coughs> and in such case, uh, now it's okay, critical frequency is 1.5 and rotation frequency is 0 0.4. Uh, there are now no problems, uh, resonance oscillation stopped, and uh, yeah, yes? Looking from the previous slide, just to see what is there, in the data for calculating the... Uh, this, yeah. Oh. No, before, for calculating the, the rotational frequency and speed, yeah, because I don't see. 
Yes, main geometrical uh, parameter. Yes, Be because calculations is really simple in this case. Yes, and uh, also uh, Young model model. Yes, uh, what is the minimum parameter which are used in such calculations? And they are available. Excuse me. This is a, a shaft type. It describes geometry. Uh, length, distance between bearings. Uh, length, upper part. Uh, what? Diameter D. Okay. Ah, in all these things. Uh, now, uh, conclusion. No, uh, first of all, uh, our conclusion is that uh, I will not read all this. PC mix can be used uh, uh, for by safety aspect. Yes, uh, the existing uh, uh, way, but we. Uh, uh, we are planning a new version of Vizimix Turbulent tool, and uh, we are going to include the a special uh, uh, submenu adapted to uh, inherent safer problems, and uh, it will be uh, something like this: uh, we will select uh, uh, ISU checkings or test and it will include uh, general mixing conditions, uh, such questions, inconsistency between drive power and mixing power, <coughs> excessive vortex, uh, all this single phase mixing, and uh, it's our project. Yes, we are going to do, we are planning to do, but uh, because of uh, ability with mix to predict dangerous situation, yes, and find uh, even find technical means to eliminate the probable risk. I think application of this application of this mix to the uh, inherent safety problem, safer problem. Uh, is reasonable. What uh, its uh, main message that I want to suggest to you, and I would like to uh, to know your opinion in this case. Thank you. Thank you. You have any question? talking about thermal runaway cases, that's a very complex topic. And I think there should be some caution uh, related to, you have very limited sort of kinetic capabilities within the model. And I think it might be overstating the capabilities of Vizimix to, in that regard. So th there should be some caution with that. That's my, my opinion. 
But for the general mixing issues, I, I would agree. And in fact, I can say we've been very successful um, with some recent designs on just checking out vibrational frequencies, and that, that's worked out very well for us and correlated with what our suppliers have also done uh, or recommended for us. So we've used VisiMix to sort of check the designs that we're getting so we have someone, some way to validate, <coughs> even though we trust, you know, I follow the old model rate in uh, trust but verify. Uh, it's really uh, up to the company to make sure that we're uh, doing the right thing. So I had good results with uh, that part. Thank you very much. Any other question? Uh, yes, I, I appreciate uh, your opinion and uh, I hope that we will continue moving in this direction. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, no. uh, when you calculated the um, the rate of decomposition of, of the material, you had the K and you uh, plotted the rate of concentration decay. Yes. Does it take into account the change? The energy of activation, the yes, 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 yes. Yeah, so, so you need to plug it in. Yeah, yeah it's the dependence. Like used Arrhenius yes. kinetics, mm -hmm. and uh, we yes. found this example in, in the book. Mm -hmm. We found the example about uh, a runaway reaction, but. Uh, okay. So, so, okay. Yeah. Other question? I have just a general question, perhaps it maybe it's unfair enough. We already got a question of you, okay? In terms of solid liquid dispersions, the warnings you were talking about, about being incapable, oh no, um, crystal suspension is questionable, yes. and the second one is partial settling may occur. Physically, is there any difference between those? Between, between the warnings, I mean, are they really the same, <coughs> the same, same physical principle that we're talking about? Okay. You, you know, I, I think that for for this situation it's the same. Uh, but uh, I mentioned both these messages because in our previous version, yes, there was uh, such uh, message, partial settling. Uh, so so I, I used both. So they're really the same. Yes. Thank you. It's the same. Okay. <laughs> Any other question? Yes? No? Maybe. <laughs> okay, thank you very much.